some good things that are coming your way. Good things. Maybe some money. Maybe a husband or a wife. Amen. Maybe a car. Education. Amen. Maybe some more money. But there might be some bad things coming too. Isn't that right? Yes. Because it rains on the just and who else? Yes. So there'll be some good things and bad things. So if good things come, praise the Lord. And if some bad things come, do what? Praise the Lord. So we want to keep that in mind. The one verse we want to keep with us this year, 1 Corinthians 7.35. And then when this topic, I have to be reminded of this throughout the years many times. Uh, because there's so much going on today, and so much yes, there is. Yes, there is. Politics, health issues, True, Lord. growing up, adolescence, 13, 14, mm. others going 65, 66 years old, this and that. So, so much is happening. If you would please read on. And this I speak for your you know, own. I was right there behind you. You're reading uh, what? 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 7 35. And this I speak for your own profit, yes. not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. Notice that, that we might attend, attend upon, the Lord upon the Lord without distraction. All right, before we go to this quick exhortation, how many this evening will admit they've been before distracted. Say amen. 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 Right. amen. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Another question. How many will admit they're distracted now? Mm. Hey. Look at that. Honest. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Honest. Sister Phyllis. <laughs> She's going to tell us the way it is. <laughs> Give her a man tonight. And if the truth be told, you're not by yourself. He what? Man. And every now and again, the word of God, spirit of God must remind me, friends, keep your eye on the ball. Yes, sir. Or keep your eye on the goal. The devil's desire is to pull you away to the left. True, Lord. Or to the right. Amen. Or to reverse. He didn't care. Some people are given to going off to the left. They have a bit toward that going to the left. Some are to the right. Some are confused on both at the same time. Others, they go, they take one step forward and two steps back. Mm. They spend their life going forward and back. Forward and back. Now, they're in motion, yes. They're not standing still, but they're going nowhere fast. True, Lord. Two steps up, two steps back. The other one go two step left, two step left. Right. So they're they're in motion, but they're being distracted by. Mm -hmm. But there's so many things true, that can true, distract us. True. Say amen. Come on amen. now. Come on now. True. true. The act of success can distract you. A pretty face can distract you. A handsome man can distract you. A joint can distract you. A bottle of beer can distract you. Politics can, can distract you. Money can distract you. The flesh can distract you. A car can distract you. Being rich can distract you. On and on and on. The devil will find something. Something. Or some things. Listen, brother. Most people have something that gets their attention. Yes, they do. Adam had Eve, and Eve had the fruit. It got her attention. Mm. David, man of God, but he got distracted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
And her name was what? Bathsheba. So the first man was distracted. The strongest man was distracted. The wisest man was distracted. May God help us tonight. Jimmy. Yes, Lord, help me, Lord. Some here had considered being saved years ago. But something pulled your attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And being saved does not mean going to church per se. True. It's more to it than that. When we're saved, we're saved from something to something. You were born in sin. And when God saves you, you become born again and you're saved to sin no more. Amen. 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 Uh, the unsaved don't sin, and those that sin are not saved. That makes sense to you? Yes, sir. I can say to God, I'm not talking kind of fast. <laughs> But you know a person is saved not by how they sing yeah. or how they preach. True, true, Lord. You know they're saved when there's no sin up in their life. Amen, amen, amen. amen. First John talks about that. John 14, 12. The Bible says, John 8, 11, go and sin what no more. That's how we know. That's right, amen. that's right. When a man is not sin, that's the power of God to keep him from sin. Amen. That's how we know. When there's no sin, there's God. Yeah. When there is sin, there's no God. True. Because you can't serve two masters. True. You can't do both. True. And sin is of the devil. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, the devil is a distracting devil. Before we pray, I was at a certain place in time. And this guy was talking to me about how successful he was. He had big plans. It was happening for him. Just walking on air almost. Wow. And he was just telling me, man, we're just doing it. I said, wow, we. The devil said, now, Moon, what about you? My Lord. They want you to compare yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's mm. so why I was sitting down there. I said, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm going to keep my eye on the ball. That's right. That's right. Brother, we can get our eyes off of people. My off of God. people. Yes, sir. Off of people. Yes, sir. Should I say it again? Yes, sir. Off of people and on to God. Isn't that right? Yeah. Like, because people will lead you astray sometimes. True. Brother, your best friend. And that's the truth. A wife or husband can inadvertently lead you astray. But the Bible says without what? A distraction. And that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. Rather, the enemy is a master at that. Yes, he is. Distraction. Because, do you know, if you just, if you're driving your car and you are distracted for a second. And that's the truth. That's, that's the truth. You ever been in a car accident? You ever been in a car accident before? Yes, 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 sir. I've been in about four of them. And the first three was my fault. To my own embarrassment, we're going to bring them in here. Me and a friend of mine were in a borrowed car. I was going to say then. And we had ham sandwiches. <laughs> and a case of beer. Drinking is an addiction to you. Yes, sir. It's an addiction. And I turned around to bite the sandwich and tore the car up. Mm. Distracted. Oh, just only a second, brother. It takes. Say that thing's pretty brother. Amen, amen. The devil will shift your eyes off of God for a second. You'll be a thousand miles away. How did you get here? The truth. Lord help us. That's the truth. How did you get here? Jesus. Here I am. I was here and now I'm a thousand miles away. Yeah. I was near God and now I, I, I don't know if there's a God or not. I was near to, to serving him now, a thousand miles away. I was so near, I could touch his face almost, and now oh the devil's it got my control. I was so near one point, and now I'm a thousand miles away and can't get back. My God, help us. Dear God. What happened? They got distracted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So permanently. Mm. They might be in the pieces so distracted. I'm a church that days a week, and the can be 
Many of these, I'm not hurting on anybody, but many of these Catholic priests, not all of them, a couple of them begun serving God, but they didn't go all the way. Listen, if you're going to serve God, go all the way. Somebody say amen, please. Amen. 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 And many of them, see, I was going to be a priest years ago. I begun at the school in, in Detroit, the Sacred Heart, for about a year. And these young boys, they were sincere the first eight and a half months. They got distracted. You see me on the ground drunk, smoking cigars, belly dancers, in the church. What happened? They had begun trying to focus, but they missed something. Oh, dear God. They went to sleep and got distracted. And that one moment they went to sleep, the devil took totally, took them over all the way. Before we pray, I hope this night there'll be at least one person to focus on what's important. Yes, Lord. And what's important is number one, serving God and not going to a devil's hell. Amen. Devil, hell is real, you all know that, right? Amen. And what separates you from heaven and hell is one decided to live right. To live a life free from sin. Amen. The other said, I'll do it later on. Mm. But death comes. Mm. I was asked this earlier. Yes. What would happen if Christ came at 1201? I chuckled a little bit, but it might be true. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm coming back right now. And what will be important? It's not how much money we made, True, Lord. where I went to school, True, dear God. whether or not I got distracted from serving God. Amen. Before we pray, <coughs> as a young man, I got distracted. At 13 years, I got distracted on cocaine, alcohol, and they want me. Two things are addicting that we don't know about, but they are. Pornography is addicting. Yes, sir. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Yes, sir. A marijuana's addiction, too. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many of you use it? You all say, is it addicting? Is it real? Oh, yes, it is. I use it for 13 years. It is. It'll hook you. I mean, it's a stress stuff drug. So don't start it because you can't finish it. You can't finish it. One more joint, one more rock, one more lawyer, and one more cell, nine by six. <laughs> But the good thing is, we can serve God, if you want to, Amen. without distraction. Thank you, God. Amen. A new year coming up. Yes, sir. What makes a difference is God. Praise the Lord. Amen. College doesn't always do it. That's true. A pretty wife doesn't always do it. Yes. My money, but God can make the difference tonight true. in your life. That's true. If God changed your life, say amen. Amen. If change your life, say amen. amen. Yes, sir. For the better, for the worse, for the better. Yeah. For the better, I can hear you. Amen. Blessed. Amen. I got it made. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, do sir. You, yes, right? sir. I do too. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God. So we're going to take a moment here to pray. And you might come back tonight. Amen. And you know what? People are going to be saying, Lord, I'm ready. I want to be saved. Lord, I'm, it's going to be too late. Lord. Lord. By the time Christ comes, it's going to be too late. True. I'll repent on my deathbed if it is going to be too late. The Bible says, the Son of Man shall come like, uh, like, uh, like east and the west. Light travels 186,000 miles a second. Can you repent that quick? To repent, it takes a broken spirit and contrite kind of heart. And God, Christ got to call you. And if it is, there's no can happen. So if you're going to do it, do it tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you'll be glad you did. Yes, you true, glad. true. You come true. before God in judgment day. Yeah, and he looked down. Well, I'm, I'm going to plead my case. You won't be able to. Because he was your sacrifice. Amen. He's going to be your judge. My Lord. Lord, I couldn't do it. I would have helped you. Lord, I couldn't handle it. I handled it. But there was something. 
Whatever we went through, he went through. Yes, sir. And yes, he sir. gave us victory. So we're going to say a word of presence of God these next five minutes. And I perceive a crowd this size. The person sitting by you may not be here in six months. Oh, dear. You don't think so? Oh, Lord. Last year here in America, 50 million died in the world. Here in America, statistics indicate every minute 21 people are born and about 24 die. A crowd this size, it's not going to be here next year. Lord have mercy. Mm. And I only hope it's Christ. So we'll say a word of prayer. If you're distracted, let him know. And hopefully that will not cost you your soul. Oh, Lord. There's many things, brother, you can pull aside to get our attention from God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Many preachers have been distracted. That's true, brother. Mm. Deacons have been distracted. Husbands have been distracted. There's a place there in California. The average marriage in that area of that county, they've been married three times on the average in that county. Three times. Not one, two, or three. He got one woman, somebody prettier, he wants her. Those prettier than her. More handsome than him. And they go on and on and on and on and on. Broken hearts all the way through. My Lord. The Lord help us to. Yes. What's it say? One more time, please. And this I speak for your own profit. Own profit. Not that I may cast a snare upon you. All right. But for that which is comely. Yes. And that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. Distraction. And if you do that, it'll be a blessing. True. Lord help. But if you don't, it could be a curse. So we're prayer tonight. Just do this prayer sheets if you wish. And we're going to pray this new year in. You know, praying a prayer for one say person for their funeral is tough to do. They to do that. You know, they weren't saved. Shout out to the funeral. That is a challenge to do one. I did six funerals in the past year and a half, two years. A couple of them weren't saved. It was tough to do. Did the best I could. But I hope we'll leave here. Tonight, say not just religious, not just loving God. People, people, I will love God, but not saved. Love Him, but they're not saved. But the loving God takes obedience. Praise the Lord yes, to what God has shown you, what He wants you to do, and what you're not to do. So we're going to pray. This we got about oh, what about what about eleven minutes for this 2020 coming in? What a ring we don't know. Some sicknesses, some healings. True, Lord. Amen. And some deaths. Do you have life insurance? It's appointed unto man once to die. That Bible, right? Yes, sir. After that, what? Judgment. You're a woman doing, but that's truth. I might leave here next year. Come to my funeral if you want to. Be a nice dark box. I mean, that's what, that's what it might be. This 2020. It might be yours too. Right? Mm -hmm. Might be at the same time. There was a double funeral years ago. Two young men. They backed on God and got shot with a semi automatic. Mm. Both. The one guy had to crawl to the door. There was a line of blood, died at the door. Oh, we just shot yesterday. There was no, not, not a robbery. The drugs were there, the money was there. They left all that to fill our eyes. The devil works, you all know that. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. Let's go to prayer tonight. We bring in this wonderful new year. If you're saved, you gotta be spiritual if you're saved. Because God will fight your battles. You all know that. Amen. He'll fight your battles. He'll fight for you. He will give you strength. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who does what? <laughs> I don't have what I need. No, no, no. The Bible says.
says, and my God shall supply all what? Money. According to what? His riches. But I feel like I'm by myself. I never leave you, nor forsake you. But if I get, what if I lack peace? Thou will keep him. Every piece might have stayed on thee. But if I don't know what to do, Ephesians 1, 9, 13, we can follow his counsel and know what to do. Praise the Lord. So yes, we got it made. If you're saved, you got it made tonight. Let's gather a place where we're praise to God. If you want to kneel at your seat, you can. Just a few minutes of prayer here to bring it in. Right. Young people, I trust you make a decision to not just be good, but to be saved. Because the enemy is on the prowl to get young people to pervert them, to mess their minds up, hooked on pornography, hooked on marijuana, hooked on homosexuality, whatever. He doesn't care. And he's doing it by the droves, brother, by the droves, my by the Lord, My Lord, my Lord. And he ever locked up in prison, Central State. I went out there doing some volunteer work work for a couple of years, brother. A third of those young men doing life were under 30 years old. Can you imagine that? 18, 19 years old doing life in prison. Done for, got 13 more to go. That's somebody's son. Hmm. Mama, pray for your children. Pray for them. Pray for them. Daddy, pray for your children. Pray for them. There might be on somebody tonight getting into something. You'll be here to pray for them. Because they need help. They don't, see they don't see what you see. So you've got, a, you've got vision. You've got depth. They don't have that. They see from the front of the nose. That's about it. They see for today. That's about it. They don't, they don't see tomorrow. But you can see for them. They need help. Oh, they need help. Some are dancing and drinking. Oh, they need help. And a mother's prayer can follow wherever they go. Oh, yes. Across the street, across the city, or across the country, or across the world, the mother's prayer follow them wherever they go. Thank God for mother's prayer, daddy's prayer. My, my, my. What a blessing. That's a blessing. To that mom and daddy can get a prayer through. It'd be tough. Dad, you pray and you can't get a good foot for your daughter, for your son. Mom and daddy pray for you, you can't pray for them. Send your life. And send your life for you, you can't pray. Just got my grand uh set separation from God, Isaiah 59 2. In Psalm 6 6, the separation from God. Sin separation from God. My God help us. It's not worth seeing your child there in a coffin. No one's gonna break it through. But God is good, praise the Lord. And he'll help us tonight. Help us even tonight. Yes, help tonight. Praise the Lord.